We are here in the Chevrolet Performance booth, and I'm standing here talking with Blake. And, uh, you know, one of the biggest battle cries right now for every customizer is LS The World. Uh, what motor are we standing next to right now? This is an LS3. So this is kind of the, the entry level to get in from Chevrolet Performance. It's rated at 430 horsepower, all aluminum. It's the same LS3 that we put into the C6 <laughs> Vet and the Gen 5 Camaro. Um, we still make these, sell a ton of them, but this is the cost of entry level. Again, 430 horsepower, all aluminum, and uh, we make all the ancillary items necessary for it, uh, VAD kits, starters, uh, manual transmissions, automatic transmissions, and the control systems for it. Okay, cool. So this is like, like you said, it's like the entry level setup <clears throat> for doing your LS swap. Right. Now, let's say, uh, let's say money is no issue and you get to do the LS swap of your choice or the Chevrolet performance engine of your choice, which one would it be? Well, we're going to move right up here to the LS 427. 570 horsepower. Ooh, all I think right. we just said the magic word right there is 570 horsepower, and that's why this would be the engine of my choice. So we take, we take the LS7 from the Camaro Z28 that was dry sump, we convert it to a wet sump, we put a new cam in it, and we get 570 horsepower out of it. Still the same LS7 with titanium valves, titanium rods, 7 liter, so it's a 427, Ooh. but converted to a wet sump for the ease of installation. So, uh, ex is there an easy way to explain the difference between a dry sump and a wet sump? Absolutely. Dry sumps were developed for racing. The problem is, is when you start racing, when you're cornering hard left and right and stopping hard, the oil in the pan is sloshing around. You've got to keep the oil flowing to the engine because even if you get a momentary blip of no oil, you can spin a bearing pretty quick. So what they do is they simply take all the oil out of the engine and put it into a cylinder. So if you're into a cylinder, say like a Coke bottle, and you're sucking oil from the bottom, Realize that any time you break or corner, you never suck air. Ah, okay. And then you use a scavenge pump in the engine to pump the oil back into the top of the bottle. Got it. So that's that's what makes this advantageous over the typical motor is you don't when you're launching or Correct. hill climbing, but wheelies, whatever it is, you're not worried about running right. out of oil. But for most people, they're not doing that. So a wet sump is way easier. You don't have to plumb the lines. You don't have to find a tank that'll fit your project. So that's why the conversion to the wet sump became such a good idea to make the engine more sellable okay and as far as um, let's say you have a which is a real popular swap you've got a, a mid 80s GM pickup truck and you want to put this motor in there do you are all of the accessories out there for this motor absolutely that's one thing about the LS engine it's been around for 20 plus years so everybody including Chevrolet performance is making the ancillary items that you may need, such as mounts, specialty FIAD kits, um, uh, fuel pumps to supply the fuel, fuel tanks, exhaust headers, whatever you need, somebody's making it. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> is there anything coming out down the line uh, that will, I guess, replace this or, or make this not the number one choice? Um, at this point, probably not without going to a supercharged type application. Okay. But uh, right now, this one's kind of king of the hill in terms of LS naturally aspirated from a production standpoint. We do have um, LSX blocks, which are iron, but now you're picking up weight and you have to do a little bit more to make a complete engine. But this is a complete engine ready to go. Right on. And if someone wanted to pick this engine up from you guys, where would they find it at? Any Chevrolet performance dealer can help you out. Right on. Blake, we appreciate your time very much, man. Thank you for all the information, and uh, hopefully I get to buy one of these from you guys someday. That'd be great. We'd love to see you driving around in one. Thank you, buddy. Have a great day. See you.